Greetings and welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video we're going to show the continuation of our efforts to upgrade to a 120 gallon tank by drilling the tank and adding this Eclipse M overflow onto it. Now we started off by taking the template that comes with the, the overflow which is a real convenience and drilling while my assistant uh, sprays water continuously in order to keep the drill both cooled and lubricated as well as the glass because if the glass ends up heating up too much you run the risk of it actually cracking even though it's not tempered glass. This was, at least it, it seemed to be much more effective at keeping the drill bit lubricated and cool. Whenever I took it off, uh, it was always cool to the touch, not even warm. Now this was half inch glass that I was drilling through and granted it was my first time attempting to drill a tank. Uh, so I was a little nervous, or more than a little nervous, and didn't want to place any pressure, any unnecessary pressure, against the glass and risk cracking it. Normally, when people drill tanks, they set the tank on its side and just use the weight of the drill uh, for pressure against the glass. But in this case, because I'm doing it while it's in place, I uh, didn't have that luxury, so the best I could do was estimate from the weight of the drill the amount of pressure that I would put onto the glass. Now, after recharging the battery uh, in the drill, uh, the reason that I had gone down deep enough into the glass where I didn't need the template anymore and with the sufficient groove being uh, cut into the glass I could just freehand it so to speak and it allowed for easier uh, spraying of the water uh, to keep things again lubricated and cool and this went on for a little while in fact, I think the whole process took between 30 and 30 to 40 minutes to complete because I did not want to take any chances with it. drilled into the glass um, it actually looks kind of like a if you ever see etched glass it, along those lines but it gave you an indication as to how close uh, it was to being finished
how far I actually uh, had drilled into the glass. Um, it actually looks kind of like a, if you ever see etched glass it, along those lines, but it gave you an indication as to how close uh, it was to being finished. Hold behind uh, where I was drilling, in addition to the, the tape that I had there, uh, the styrofoam I applied pressure so that hopefully it would minimize any chipping at the end because there tends to be almost always some measure of chipping on the exit part of the hole when you're when you're drilling glass like this and I believe that is it and yeah it's actually made it through so now what I do is I start peeling off the, the tape on that side and with it comes a half inch disc or half inch thick disc of glass and it turned out to be a relatively clean cut and I was so relieved. overflow again it's an eclipse overflow from eShops it's the eclipse m model to be exact a uh, really simple model to install comes with the, the portion the weir portion that goes inside the tank and the outside uh, overflow comes with uh, two gaskets one for inside the tank one for inside the overflow box on the outside you just put those in place and take that large nut and screw it into place you hand tighten it as much as you possibly can and after that preferably you take uh, a tool hand tool and just give it maybe at the absolute most a quarter turn in order to give it a really snug fit where you won't have to worry about uh, any leaking in the future. Now here I was trying to make it work with uh, adjustable vice grips but you know I started with smaller ones and that didn't didn't fit moved and moved on to a larger one and that did not fit either and even though I tried to open it up as wide as I possibly could so at some point uh, in the next few days I'll be investing in a larger pair of channel lock pliers so that I can tighten this down um, did this on a Tuesday uh, I don't anticipate putting water in this tank any sooner than maybe the next week so I've got time to tighten that up I have the plumbing uh, to do as well so uh, again I've got time but again I'm really kind of pleased with the way this actually turned out subscribing, um, hitting the like button, hitting the notification bell 
so that you will be made available when new videos are are produced because I probably see a few more in this 120 upgrade series so again thanks so much for viewing take care Do